हेलो डियर पेरेंट्स एम आई एस सी इन चिल्ड्रन पोस्ट कोविड नाइनटीन थर्ड वेव ऑफ कोविड एंड इट्स इफेक्ट ऑन चिल्ड्रन इट इज अफेक्टिंग द मेंटल स्टेट ऑफ मोस्ट ऑफ अस दे इज अ लॉट ऑफ डिबेट रिगार्डिंग दिस इन द मीडिया आई डॉक्टर अनुज कुमार धामा आई एम अ प्रैक्टिसिंग पेडियाट्रिशियन इन गुड़गांव एंड टूडे फिट इन दिस टॉक आई शेल ट्राई टू एले ऑल योर एंगजाइटीज एंड आई शेल क्लियर योर डाउट्स विद ऑल द फैक्चुअल इन्फॉर्मेशन देर इज नो स्पेक्यूलेशन इन इट एंड देर इज नो फियर माउंटिंग सो आई विल कम स्ट्रेट टू द पॉइंट What is MISE? As the name suggests, MISE. So it is M for multi-system, I is inflammation, S is syndrome, and C stands for childhood. So it is multi-system inflammatory syndrome of childhood. So what does it mean? Multi-system means at a given point of time, many organ systems of the body they are affected by the dysregulated immune response of the body to the COVID-19. Dysregulated, that is. the response of the body the immune response of the body which was supposed to act against covid-19 it produces the antibodies which tend to destroy our own organs as i told you in misc c stands for childhood so what is the age group which is involved in misc the most commonly it involves 1 to 18 years of age but the cases have been reported in the earlier age groups that means less than 1 year of age and also beyond 18 years of age but most commonly it is between 1 to 18 years of age group uh, next point is is there any specific risk factor or there are any risk factors which lead on to increase predisposition to this syndrome the answer for generally for the parents is no because this syndrome is affecting children irrespective of whether they had asymptomatic covid mild covid or very severe cold covid so we can't predict on a clinical basis which child is going to land up in misc usually it affects the children after they have recovered from covid-19 mostly around 3 to 6 weeks after recovery though this period can extend even up to 12 weeks as i said before it tends to affect many organs at the same time in the children of this age group so our next query is in which child we need to suspect and what we need to look out for so if any child who had a history of covid-19 in past 6 weeks or if there is a history of covid-19 in the household of a child or if we suspect that there is a contact with covid-19 in last 3 months these are the children in whom we have to be highly suspicious that they may get misc so what are the signs that we are going to look out for one a patient who is having fever of more than 24 hours especially a high grade fever high grade means more than 102 degree fahrenheit with following symptoms any of the following symptoms i would say red eyes swelling of the lips and red tongue swelling around the neck severe stomach pain especially if it is associated with vomitings or palpitations or fast heart beat so we should be on a lookout for all these things if our child is having a high grade fever associated with some eye involvement tongue and lips involvement if there is some palpitations if there is vomiting with stomach pain so don't take it lightly especially post covid this child may be a probable case of misc so now the point is like these are very common symptoms stomach pain and vomiting what is so special about this thing especially post covid in case somebody lands up with this symptoms then it needs a urgent attention why why it needs a urgent attention because one it is a potentially fatal condition fatal means there is reported a significant amount of death among children who have misc second the diagnosis is very specific if you go to your pediatrician he will do certain blood tests he may go for a chest x ray he may go for a echocardiography then the diagnosis can be easily made third it is a treatable condition if we go to the doctor if it is diagnosed in proper time and if the treatment is initiated earliest possible then the results are really good and the response is very quick and good now we come to the most important part of the discussion is it preventable yes it is preventable so how can we prevent it everybody knows it it's pretty simple what we are doing for more than one year now that is all that we need to do that means 
follow SMS. Social distancing, M is mask, and again S is sanitization measures. And next in line is vaccination. Already government is taking so many steps to provide vaccination to us. So it is now our responsibility to take it as early as possible. Once we are vaccinated, the chances of us transmitting the infection to our children is very low. The good point about this condition is that it's a very rare condition. Even among those children who have COVID-19, less than 1% have MISC syndrome. So we don't really expect that we will have that much percentage of children, but in absolute numbers, it will be huge. Now we come to the point of third wave of COVID, especially involving the children and MISC. There's a lot of talk on media, they, on every news channel, the debates are going on. So to give a perspective to this thing, I'll just provide you simple numbers and we can think about it. Today, the government of India reported 1,30,000 new cases of COVID-19, assuming that the children among those are 10 to 12 percent. This is what the data suggests that out of total 10 to 12 percent are children. So the number of children involved are 15,000 out of 130,000. And among these 15,000 in next 6 to 12 weeks, around 1 percent are going to develop MISC. That means effectively around 150 children will develop MISC. So what does it mean that after 6 to 12 weeks, we need to have pediatric intensive care beds for these children. That is around 150 children per day. And this is going to last for a few months. So there will be a huge need for infrastructure. The government is trying to create that infrastructure. The hospitals, they are taking care for all those things. So they need to worry about it. As individual, I don't think it is that much a big worry because it's not a common condition. Finally, to conclude it, it is our responsibility as individuals to prevent the infection of our children and let the government do its job. One thing. Secondly, don't take undue stress out of all these media debates. Best solution is avoid unnecessary debates and speculations regarding MISC. Be alert. Don't be afraid. Don't delay the diagnosis by keeping the child at home and thinking that the child is going to recover. As I explained to you earlier, if there are symptoms, there is high grade fever, report to your pediatrician immediately. All the talk about the third wave is just speculative and statistical. There is still no scientific evidence whether the wave is going to come or whether it is not going to come. So it is still speculative. Don't get carried away by it. Uh, so friends, if you find this video useful and informative, please like it and share with your friends. And most importantly, subscribe to the channel for getting the latest updates. Thank you. See you in the next video.